सो डो नॉट फॉरगेट द रेडियोथेरेपी एंड न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन वन वन क्वेश्चन इज एवरी टाइम आस्ट इन लास्ट नीट नीट एग्जाम दिस वॉज आस्ट लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो इन दी नीट पीजी एग्जाम सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लिनियर एक्सोलेटर इज फॉर लिनैक इज आ टेलीथेरेपी मशीन विच इज यूज टू जनरेट हाई एनर्जी एक्सरेस सो इट इज डूइंग रेडियोथेरेपी विद एक्सरेस बट नाउ इफ यू नोटिस ऑन द चॉइस ए एंड डी बोथ ऑफ देम आर सेम एक्सरेस सो वी नीड टू नो वट एल्स लिनैक प्रोड्यूसिस Linac is a particle accelerator. It accelerates the electrons to very high speed, and those electrons are used to produce X-rays. But we can even use those electrons for radiotherapy also, especially in skin cancers and cutaneous lymphomas. So the answer to the question is A. Electrons plus X-rays, both of them are produced by Linac. In the second question, this patient had a squamous cell cancer of the esophagus. CT chest was done and a PET CT was done as a part of staging. Again, this is a question also for C esophagus for staging. We use PET CT. In CT, now look at the line that I have underlined in red. There is symmetric uptake of FDG in the supraclavicular area. So symmetry in a radiological region is actually trying to tell you either we are dealing with something systemic or something physiological. so there is uptake of fdg in both supraclavicular region symmetrically and this is the area where you have physiologically brown fat brown fat is metabolically active and it accumulates fdg because it is metabolic active uh, fat so you can actually pick it up from the question itself this is physiological uptake this is not metastasis this is brown fat uptake answer was a Now this is in the next question. This is a clinical vignette where you have a 69 year old normotensive. That means there is no hypertension, unconscious state patient. CT shows this. What do you see in the CT scan? So on the right side you can see in the frontal lobe there is a hematoma. There is a lobar hematoma in the CT scan. Now can this be hypertensive bleed? Answer is less likely. Why? Because hypertensive bleed has usually a basal ganglia predominance. You must have read in your anatomy about the Charcot arteries, Charcot artery of hypertensive bleed. So, hypertensive hemorrhage is typically seen in the basal ganglia or thalamus, or for that matter, in pons or cerebellum. But this is a lobar hematoma. Here, we have to think of other causes of parenchymal bleeds. In a young person, I would also keep a choice of AVM, arteriovenous malformation, as the answer here. But this is a 69-year-old man. in a old person with lobar hematoma the top answer should be amyloid angiopathy these are the people in whom amyloid beta deposit in the blood vessels has led to weakening of the blood vessels and that is why you can see a lobar hematoma here you can also have punctate hematoma hemorrhages because of amyloid angiopathy which is seen on susceptibility weighted imaging aneurysmal bleed on the other hand would lead to subarachnoid hemorrhage this is a parenchymal bleed in the image head injury will lead to contusions in the basi frontal region this is top of the frontal lobe not the base of the frontal lobe why base of the frontal is lobe is important for head injury because at that part is in contact with the rough part of the skull bone the orbital plate of the frontal bone and when the brain hits that area you develop a contusion there this is not a typical site of contusion so the answer here is amyloid angiopathy Next is a question again based on nuclear medicine and radiotherapy. There are four statements, and you have to tell me this correct statement. Half life of iodine one twenty five is sixty days. Answer is true. A is correct. Half life of iodine one twenty one one thirty one is twelve days. C wrong. Iodine one thirty one has a half life of eight days, not twelve days. Iodine one thirty one is used for radio immunoassays of thyroid hormones. C is false. Iodine 131 is used for beta therapy of thyroid tumors and for ablation of thyroid tissue in Graves disease. For radio immunoassays and brachytherapy we actually use iodine 125. D choice. Iodine 125 is preferred over 123 for thyroid scan. False. It is iodine 123 is preferred for thyroid scan not 125. In the next IVP, this is intravenous urography where you have to find the disease and tell me what are you able to see. So I want you to look at my arrows that I marked for you. You can see in the arrows the distal part of the ureter is dilated, and the distal most part is most dilated, giving rise to a edder head appearance. This is congenital dilatation of the distal ureters, which is seen in urethrocele. 
the answer is urethrocele and you will appreciate this is a previous neat pg image and the same to same question has been asked in the previous exam next is a unique style that i wanted to bring to you this is how a clinical vignette looks like a long question 60 year old man headache vertigo pain in the arm and doppler reveals the reversal of blood flow in the left vertebral artery now i want to uh, you to understand this phenomena now suppose you have narrowing in your subclavian artery in the proximal part of the subclavian artery the blood supply to your arm and hand will suffer so what happens is the now the subclavian artery wants to have blood but it is not able to get blood because the proximal part is narrow so vertebral artery starts to put give the blood supply to the subclavian now as it starts to act like a collateral this is also called as subclavian steel phenomenon subclavian artery because of the proximal stenosis is taking the blood away from the vertebral artery and the vertebral artery on the same side is showing reversal of blood flow this is why the, this is why the patient was having the posterior fossa symptoms or vertigo etc this is subclavian steel phenomena and the finding on doppler is reversal of blood flow in the vertebral artery answer to this question is critical stenosis of the first part of the subclavian artery dot in a circle sign is seen in so i want you to look at this mri of the foot and look at the parts that are marked with arrow these are cross sections of the bones so the cortex is appearing dark the marrow is appearing white because of edema but in the center you can see a dot because of the fungal hyphae this is called as dot in a circle sign which is seen in madura mycosis or madura foot this the central low hype, low signal that you see in the center is probably due to big fungal hyphae or the fungal elements calcification is not detected by now this is one of my favorite questions calcification is best detected by ct but here the question is not detected by calcification is detected by structural investigation like ct mri can pick up calcification on susceptibility weighted imaging ultrasound can pick up calcification as a hyperechoic focus pet scan is only based on metabolism it is a functional test it cannot pick up calcification so the answer here is d pet scan cannot pick up calcification 